Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice functional equations given that f of x equals x plus f of x minus 1 if f of 0 equals 1 and f of quadrant is what we are looking for. So one thing about this question is we are going to learn two things. We learn how function works and we also learn some aspects of mathematics which is a series so we are going to be solving some series and the shortcut way to solve it like adding one to other end and so on like that let's get into it now you consider the solution here i'll be solving this in just one method so if you know another method you can drop it in the comment box let's go so we have f of x equals x plus f of x minus 1. This is the given question. So the first thing we are going to do is let's take f of x minus 1 to this side so that we have f of x minus f of x minus 1 equals x. So this now becomes the formula we are going to be applying. So we are looking for f of 1 or drained. So when we substitute f of odd at x equals to odd drained here we have f of odd minus f of 99 equals odd But this doesn't make sense. Since we have been given f of 0 to be 1, we have to start testing for some numbers, then we add everything together. Let's start from the lowest. Suppose we have x equals 1. We start from 1 because we have f of 0 already. So 1 minus 1, it gives us 0. Then we substitute the value of that f of 1. So if x equals 1, that is the first thing we are going to test for. Then we are going to have f of 1 minus f of 1 minus 1 equals 1. And then we have f of 1, so we are not giving f of 1, we leave it like that. Minus, here is f of 1 minus 1, that is 0, equals 1. So we call this one equation 1. And again, if you have x equals 2, so this is small of iterations. When we keep iterating to some point, we are going to conclude. But let's test for like at x equals 5. So if x equals 2, we have f of 2 minus f of 2 minus 1 equals 2. And with this, we have f of 2 minus f of 1 equals 2. So this is 2. And again, if we have at x equals 3, we are going to have f of 3 minus f of 3 minus 1, that is f of 2 equals 3. So this is 3. And this is how this continues. If we still test for x of x equals to 4, the next thing we are going to be having here is f of 4 minus f of 3 equals 4. And if you look at all these right hand side, this follows a series from 1 down to 2, from 2 to 3, and from 3 to 4. Which means the next thing we are going to be getting is when we set our x equals 5, we are going to get 5 here. And it continues like that. But what of if I check for what I've checked for x equals 5? If x equals 5, we are going to have f of 5 minus f of 4 equals 5. We have this uh, as a continuous series. Let's say we continue like that. If I test for x equals, let's say, 99, we are going to have f of 99 minus f of 98 equals 99. We are still following the formula f of x minus f of x minus 1. So finally, if I test for x equals odd rent, we have f of 1 odd rent minus f of 99 equals 1 odd rent. I will stop here because what I need is f of 1 odd rent and I have it here. So I will stop. But there is something here. All this one it takes negative. Suppose I want to add every function here together. By adding everything together, some will cancelled. 
Why? So some will be cancelling each others and uh, some will remain. If you look at this, suppose I add this and this together. This is f of 4 and this is f of 4. One is positive and one is negative. This and this cancelled. And also there will be another thing here at x f of 5 and this is also f of 5. This cancelled. f of 3 will also cancel f of 3 at the top. And here is f of 98 we also cancel f of 98 at a point here. Then we have f of 99 we cancelled f of 99. It is only what we not cancelled is f of 1 or 3 and f of 0 from the beginning. Because f of 1 cancel f of 1 at x equals to 2. But nothing like f of 0 cancelled before. So it means we have we only have f of odd range and f of 0. But all other sides here, they keep adding each other. From 1 plus 2 plus 3 down to odd range. All those ones, they remain. Then we're now going to add this and uh, we see the output of f of odd range. By adding all these together, we are going to have f of we have f of odd range minus f of zero equals addition of everything that is one plus two plus three plus this continues to odd range. Well, how can we be adding all these values together? From 1 plus 2, that is 3. 3 plus 3, that is 6. 6 plus 4, that is 10. 10 plus... I don't even understand again. So, there is a way to do that. So, by just adding this individually, so it takes our time. What we apply is, there is a one formula in a series that says, suppose we have a number like this. And this works for when we have the common difference of 1. Or the, co the same common difference. Here is 1 to 2. Common difference is 1. Here is common difference is also 1. If the common difference remains to be the same, as we call this one series because we have addition between them. Suppose all these are separated with comma, we call it sequence. So here there is a series. I'm going to add all these series together. If you are given a something like this, just apply this formula Sn. We got it from here. N divided by 2 into bracket of uh, we have a plus n which is the last term the sum of the terms equals number of the time over two bracket first time plus the last time so if we cannot do this we can still apply our xn equals n into bracket of n plus one divided by two so all this one do not require it will not require the first term so just take the last term which is odd odd range multiplied by odd range plus 1 that is 101 then divided by 2 so looking at this we are going to have xn as 5050 five, so 2 here is 1 2 here that is uh, 50 and we multiply 50 by 101 we get 5050 five, so therefore f of odd range it gives us so f of 0 we take it to other side that is f of 0 plus 5, 0, 5, 0. And if f of 0 is 1, therefore we are going to have 1 plus 5, 0, 5, 0, that is 5, 0, 5, 1. So this is how to solve this problem. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.